Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. The Baltimore City School District is working on a new approach for students through a wholeness program. WMAR 2 News, Aaron McPherson is there to see some of the activities that are going to help support the development of social skills and emotional learning. The school district partnered with the Positive School Center from the University of Maryland to train the staff to implement this wholeness program. At George Washington Elementary, they implemented the Virtues Element last year and just got their wholeness room and wholeness specialist this school year. My name is Dominic. Yeah! And now I got Virtues. Yeah! This is part of the wholeness yeah! program at George Washington Elementary oh! School. The Virtue Roll Call, where each student can pick their own virtue for the day. I've got love. Yeah! Inside of me. Oh, love! Each month, the school focuses on one specific virtue. It gives kids the ability to check in on their feelings, their self-awareness, and understand how they're feeling, and then pull on a virtue to help them get through an activity or a feeling or an emotion they might be struggling with at any given time. Bridget Wrightson is the principal who's passionate about these changes. He's always saying something about the virtues because you should stay steadfast on task and ambitious and respectful. Zoe Garcia Diaz is a fourth grade student who looks forward to these activities like the breathing exercises after lunch. Remember deep breath in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. Not everybody can just be like, okay, lunch is over. We can, we have to get back to work. But some people just need to do um, some exercises like breathe in, breathe out, or just um, just to stand there and think about how your day is going. So right now um, in the morning, so we can transition to do that again in the afternoon. Adeze OKK is a fourth grader too. She says Mr. AP helps to get her back on track. It makes me calm down. Deep breath in. It takes out all the like negative feelings so that when I go to Miss Teresi, my second teacher, I'll be ready for what we'll do next. Mr. AP, Avery Pearsall, walks the students through these exercises. He also runs the student wholeness room. Students need outlets in order to talk about their feelings and emotions. Um, social emotional learning and the whole space for student wholeness gives that option for our students to be able to really voice, um, to, to find their voice and, and provide insight to the person that they want to become, but also helps them to build healthy relationships and relate to other classmates and adults in the building. Principal Wrightson believes this program is really helping her students grow. Having these wholeness opportunities allows them to better engage in the work and to be able to transition and really work hard on focus and skills. And they give them all these extra opportunities to develop um, self-confidence and that allows them to be happier and wholer people, which allows us to get so much more also done academically. If you want to learn more, this program is broken down on the Baltimore City Public Schools website. It's part of their Building a Generation Blueprint for Success. We have a link to their site on WMAR2news.com. All right, Aaron, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.